the circular purple marks on some Olympian skin may have puzzled the world this week, but are no mystery to these Chinese medicine experts. They know very well the effects of cupping and acupuncture, as well as the magic of age-old herbal formulas. What they want to do today is to find ways to integrate traditional Chinese medicine with modern healthcare. Normally, people will have to use the raw herbs to boil them, you know, before they can consume. But what we have done is to convert all of these herbs into soluble granules, so that you don't really have to boil them. You just add hot water and then stir it up, and you can drink it. You know, that's one way of modernizing Chinese medicine. Many Chinese mainland and Hong Kong pharmaceutical companies have launched new products based on traditional Chinese medicine, and they expect great trade opportunities. In fact, they have a ready-made platform to exploit. China's Belt and Road Initiative. Along the Belt and Road, I think you know, indeed, quite a number of countries they are already quite accustomed, or they know about Chinese medicine and have some tradition of using Chinese medicine. It will bring the Chinese medicines industry, the whole industry, to a whole new market. The world is becoming to accept natural product. And people want better health and you know alternative medicine, and I think Chinese medicine is the best choice, and that provides an excellent opportunity for us. You know, not just to export our product, but I think we can export our culture as well. But to gain a foothold in a wider market, manufacturers have to meet stricter regulations on standardization as well as quality requirements. In the standardization and. Uh, World level per, uh, platform, we can push three results. We can uh, provide new drug for hard to kill disease in the world. Second one, we should provide evidence based Chinese medicine treatment. Third one, we should demonstrate science and art of Chinese medicine in clinical practice. Traditional Chinese medicine has been practiced in China for thousands of years. Chinese people consider it as playing a vital role in maintaining their health. But TCM took a long time to gain international acceptance, until Chinese researcher Tu Youyou was granted the Nobel Prize last year. She credited the system for her discoveries concerning malaria drug artemisinin, saying it was a gift from traditional Chinese medicine to the world. The Chinese government has, for years, encouraged efforts to obtain U.S. and EU authorization of TCM-derived drugs for treating illnesses such as heart disease. These medicinal products are the result of merging traditional Chinese medicine with modern science, and they will help make Chinese medicine more accessible to consumers around the globe. Now then, CCTV, Hong Kong.